Hello, my name is René Ranzinger and I'm going to introduce the Gleichen project to you. The Gleichen project is an international effort trying to combine data from multiple databases coming from proteomics, genomics and glycomics into one resource and allowing people to um, access this data in an easy way across multiple domain. The effort is led by Rasha Masunda in New York from the Complex Carbohydrate Research Center in the George Washington University and has many collaborators all across the world from big institutions like the EBI, the NCBI and a lot of smaller Glycan database providers. You can access the project by going to the glycan.org webpage where all of the data is freely available under a Creative Commons license. When entering the web page, you will be presented with the three major types of molecules that we provide information for, the glycans, the proteins, and the glycoproteins. These symbols are your main gateway to the information stored in the resource. By selecting one of these type of molecules, we, you will be led to a search interface that allows you to search for information of this molecule by different types of information, for example, diseases, different names of these molecules, or other information. You can either search by just providing a simple search term, or by selecting the advanced search interface, you will be asked for different types of information that allow you to restrict the number of results that you will get on the result page. For example, you can search by different accession numbers, by the molecular mass, information about the species where a protein can appear, or by the name of a protein. When performing a search, you will always be presented with a list of results matching the information that your search query contains. For each of these uh, molecules, a list of information is shown to you that helps you to select the right candidate. By clicking on one of the candidates, you will be presented with the detailed information that are stored in our database about that molecule. For example, for each of the proteins, we have a summary information with common names and synonyms and the gene names. We have information about the species that a protein is present, information about the function, glycosylation, references to other databases, pathways that this protein is present, different isoforms, diseases this protein has been reported in, mutations that have been reported for different diseases, and expression of this protein in different tissues or in different diseases. All pieces of information are labeled with the original data source where this piece of information was retrieved from. By selecting the data source, you will be presented with a link leading you directly to that other database, which has more complementary information about that piece of information. One of the major challenges is to combine the proteomics information with the glycomics information. For example, the selected protein has multiple glycan structures reported on different glycosylation sites. The glycosylation table provides an overview of the different glycan structures, the glycosylation sites, and the resources that reported this glycosylation. You can also select the ID of the glycan, which brings you to the glycan page on our glycan webpage, which has detailed information about that glycan structure. For example, again, species information with according cross-references, known motifs of this glycan structures, and other proteins where this glycan has been reported. Again, all is labeled with the original data source and the links that allow you to go directly to that resource. One of the major challenges is not just to allow user to browse the web page and find information about the specific glycan or a specific protein, but make it easier to search for information across multiple domains. We achieve this by providing so called quick searches. When selecting the quick searches, you're presented with a list of easy questions 
that allow you to make that complicated searches. For example, one of these questions could be, what are the glycosyl transferases in a certain species? To just get the list of all the glycosyl transferases, for example, for human. By selecting that question, you are asked for a simple input in this case, what is the species you are looking for? By selecting the species and clicking on the search, you will be presented with the list of all the glycosyl transferases that we store in our data resource and have retrieved from all the other databases. Then again, on this list page, you can look into each of these uh, uh, proteins in detail by selecting the protein ID and studying the details page. On all pages, it is possible to export the results into Excel spreadsheets for further processing. Any web page that you have opened, you will be able to download the information presented on that web page by selecting the download link and the format that you want to choose. Thank you for your attention and I hope you find this presentation useful.